can you talk a bit about the record keeping challenges uh, in making this all work if you do uh, get a paycheck protection loan? Yeah, thanks. So um, I know a lot of people are just interested in getting their loans right now and getting their applications in the door, but we have to think about the back end of that. So once you get the money, how are you going to account for all of that, all of those dollars that you spent? So as Neil mentioned, and we all know about um, the Paycheck Protection Program loan, there are very uh, specific requirements that you have to meet. You can only spend it on certain things. And so you really have to be cognizant of what you're spending that money around. So, you know, I'm, I'm recommending what we're doing in-house for our clients. And what I recommend is if you have a program like QuickBooks to set up a class tracking system and treat this money like a, its own separate class, account for all the money that you got, and then literally every dollar that you spend, make sure that it's being spent on the authorized expenditures and you're accounting for that because at the end, if you don't spend the money on these authorized expenditures or you don't spend all the money, then you will have to pay it back. So you need to be aware of what you're spending and really watch that and know what you're going to have to spend uh, pay back at the end of this. Also, around your payroll records, make sure that you're keeping really tight records around that. When you're applying for the loan, of course, you need to be um, you need to to say what that what your average monthly payroll is. Uh, I know some payroll programs now, like the one we use, um, they actually has a report in there now that you can actually pull that information directly from your payroll system, which is really nice. So you don't have to kind of you know calculate that on your own they'll have reports in there so just really be on top of your record keeping right now that's going to really keep you um, out of trouble and making sure that you're only paying back what you really need to pay so and one, one more final tip um, as marilyn mentioned the payroll deferrals um, if you do take advantage of that and you defer that social security tax again please make sure that you are being aware of how much you're deferring because you will have to pay it back and you want to make sure you have the cash reserves to pay it back 